Cisco community. Hello and welcome. In this video you will learn how to restore a Nexus switch from the loader prompt. The loader prompt could happen for a few reasons. Typically you will not find your kickstart image or your kickstart image will be corrupted. From the loader prompt there's a limited number of commands that you can run. Just press the question mark and this will print here all the options. So what we'll be doing in this video is downloading a Kickstart image from a TFTP server and then copying our Kickstart and system back to the boot flash. And finally, we'll finish the process with the install all command. In case you have images, other Kickstart images on the switch already, you can use the dir command and see what's on the boot flash. In this case here, you can see that there's no images available on the boot flash. So we'll be using the set command to start to set the network configuration. At any time, you can use the help command in front of the command you'd like to set to use, and that will display the options. So here we can see that the set command has two options, set an IP address for the switch and set the default gateway. Remember to use the management zero uh, connectivity to your network for this operation. The front facing ports will not um, be configurable from the loader prompt. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and set an IP address on our switch. And the subnet mask. Press enter. This prints here us that the programming of the IP has been successful. And now let's set the default gateway. Now we are ready to boot remotely our Kickstart image. The command is boot. And type help boot. And actually this shows us how the command is used. You can either boot from the boot flash or the TFTP server. In our case, we are copying from TFTP. Now the copy is in progress, and you can see this by this blinking cursor here that shows you the activity. This means the image is being loaded. Otherwise, it will remain with an iPhone. Once this completes, the image will, will load on the switch. But remember, the image will not yet be copied on the boot flash. So we'll have to go from the boot prompt and copy again the Kickstart image onto boot flash as well as the system image. The Nexus series 5000 and 3000 family do need two images to operate, the Kickstart and the system image. Image verification OK, and now we will load the image. Now we are at the boot prompt. Let's go ahead and check the IP addressing. You can see that we inherited the same IP configuration from the loader prompt, so we don't need to retype it. Let's check our management zero interface, and you can see that by default, 
in the boot prompt this interface is now down so we'll have to go ahead and unshut this port the boot prompt also can be used to change the admin password this is the prompt that you can get into for password recovery now let's go ahead and check our interface it's now up we can now use the command copy FTP boot flash and I advise you to use FTP instead of TFTP when possible to speed up the process now we will be copying again our kickstart image onto boot flash and the second image to copy is the system image in case you get an error after typing your username for FTP typically check your connectivity to the FTP server make sure it's up and reachable we have both images copied and here they are now we can go ahead and load our system image this will get us to the final prompt on the switch from which we'll have to use the install all command to complete the procedure And now we get the initial setup for our switch. This is not necessary, it just depends if there is already a startup configuration or if the switch has been uh, without, without this and needs to be configured. And we've set the default password for admin and we are back on our switch prompt. To finish this process, let's go ahead and use the install all command. To set the proper variables and to make sure there's no BIOS updates that needs to be done. This will take a few minutes to complete.
and we're prompted if we would like to continue, and we answer yes. Now the switch will reload. And this completes our operation. Once the switch is back, we'll be finished. Now we're on the logging prompt and we have restored our switch in the loader prompt. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.